all the tears that I have shed and these scars upon my wrist have made me who I am today. Prepared me now for this. I promised just six years ago when blindness certified through poetry I'd share my tale to others far and wide. Inspire them to grab a cane and step outside their home. Four words each poem's message saying you are not alone. My name's Dave Steele. I've become to be known as the Blind Poet. I started to lose my sight just about seven years ago to a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. My left eye is completely blurred. I can't see out of that really at all now. And my right eye has lost all its peripheral vision. So I look almost like looking through a straw. When I was diagnosed as being severely sight impaired and lost my job, the whole world changed for me and my family. We lost our house because we couldn't afford the rent in the place that we were staying. We had to feed our kids on food parcels for a little while. And I was feeling anxious and struggling with depression. But the biggest thing it took from me was my purpose. I didn't know where my place was in the world anymore and what I was going to do next. Poetry has this unique ability to kind of make people lean in and listen more. I had this idea of taking a song that everyone knows and changing the words so it would have more of an impact and talking about what I'd experienced in my kind of journey with blindness and low vision. So I chose the song Stand By Me by Benny King because I loved the opening line of when the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see because that was like the night blindness part of RP for me. And as soon as I did it, I remember turning to my wife and saying, I've just had this idea and it's going to change everything for us as a family. I found something I could do in the world and all of a sudden this music and poetry just started to pour out of me where I was writing poems every day, sometimes two or three a day. And I speak at events all over the world now and every day I try to write pieces of poetry that help people uh, and support people through the journey of low vision and blindness. I'm really proud that I am now a part of the Changemakers campaign and playing such an integral part with my poetry. When I was told who I'd be working with and did a little bit of research and went online and looked at Rachel's artwork and some of the things that she's done and listened to Belushi's you know, previous compositions and see, seeing his performances. and It's going to be amazing to see how we as a three combine I think we need to find other people who are living with these sorts of conditions in other parts of the world. So we need to try and reach out to those people. 100%. We need to tell this story and give a really wide spectrum. We were talking about we want to show all the different shades of sight loss. I hope this letter finds you in good health. Our health is so important, don't you think? I suppose that's why our paths are crossing. Thank you. I have issues with my sight. And I'm really looking forward to hearing you talk about your experiences and your life. And I'm really wanting to take the uh, the, the heart of your story and really put it into this poem. I first experienced blurriness in my right eye back in 2018. I confided in my friend, a doctor, who urged me to get it checked out immediately. Luckily, I was diagnosed very quickly, which gave me options. But there's so much else I live with too. My friends and family, my little grandchildren. I love the beauty of the Duranco Mountains in winter and some flowers in the summer warm. That is always a world of treasure to see. So I can't wait to see how you interpret my story and hear how our experiences relate. There's so many misconceptions with regards to blindness and low vision. Most people think you're either completely blind or not at all. I speak to people all over the world who will hold themselves back from going out or using a mobility aid or applying for a guide dog because they feel they don't look blind enough. If I'm in an environment where there's not much going on in my view, so say, for example, I'm in a park and it's an open space in front of me and there's not a lot of movement, I almost feel through that tunnel of vision that I can see fairly normally and fairly well. But if I then turn the corner and all of a sudden there's lots of moving objects, i.e. people or cars, anything in that view, 
my retinas can't deal with that amount of information. And in a split second, I go almost like I'm in a sauna. It's a complete mist. I go completely blind. Uh, I've been shouted at in the street, uh, called a fake. Um, I've been accused of faking my blindness because I'm using my cane one moment and the next moment I'm looking at my phone for directions. And often people get confused because there's that lack of awareness and lack of education. It's really helpful to have known that I was going to meet all of you today. I actually did get on Dave's website ahead of time and I listened to some of his poems and uh, he has helped me. He's helped me and my patients realize that um, blindness is an inadequate word. It, it doesn't describe the experience of vision loss for all patients. And now I find myself trying to articulate better what vision loss is. I look at the world now through the eyes of someone that may be seeing things for the last time. And that's something that always stays with me. Even though I'm still losing my sight and I've only got a couple of years left probably before the rest of it goes with the way it's declining. Um, knowing that I have helped so many people through the poetry and hopefully through this Changemakers campaign are going to be able to impact an even larger audience uh, and even more people. Um, I'm grateful. Um, I wouldn't change my blindness for the world. And if that's the challenge that I've got to go through in losing my sight to do this, then absolutely so be it.